Hi Aries, I'm hoping you're doing well. So this is a love reading. I've already uploaded the next 10 days for you guys and the mid months. I will start for the ones that just like the horoscope spread covering different areas of your life. I will start that soon as well. So this is just regarding your love life. What's coming in? What is the best possible outcome? I'm not going to put any timing. It's just what are the energies that are coming in? Remember you have free will. These are just potentials with whatever is going on right now. What are the possible outcomes in the future? So love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mars. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mars. Who or what is coming in? Is love coming in? Depending here, again, I want to keep this general love reading. Depending, you know, who I'm connecting with. What does Aries need to know? What is in the near near future that is coming in? And the best possible outcome of that situation regarding their love life. Aries, please, placement in love. Aries in love. One more. Okay, the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Man, what's going on? I feel like you are very worried, constantly overthinking. I don't know if there's a betrayal. This comes as a King of Swords, like uh, worrying, 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 and then something feels like, okay, I can't believe this happened replaying a situation and trying to put an end to it all right let's see the nine of wands maybe that's the the, the cautious energy is like someone here is like afraid that they're gonna get hurt okay the chariot which you guys get a lot This is an approach. This is quick, swift, and, um, you know, whatever the boundaries. Like, someone has this courage. But that Nine of Wands is afraid or is cautious. All right, so the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands here actually comes a little bit as playful. It's like someone wants here when it comes to uh, this connection. I don't know if there's some insecurities or there's restriction, but it's coming here as someone that wants to play, wants to um, kind of go towards this love, but feels restricted or not sure here. It's like, in a way, the desires um, that are coming in is like unclear of where to go. So I don't know if this is the direction. Okay, the Hierophant here, the Four of Wands, maybe because of marriage, we have interferences. We have vows, promises, different religion here or vows, but it, it feels like I have this desire. How do I go about it? All right, five and five, by the way, Leo and Scorpio. It's like someone regrets a situation here. That's the challenge. It's like we have water and fire, by the way. I always say with this, I don't know if there was this gathering or something went wrong here. The Two of Cups is still holding on to the potential of love, but there's some type of, it's like crying out situation here. Okay. At the heart of this reading, you're still holding very tightly to a situation. There's a... Uh, Someone that feels like I need to accumulate or I need to keep this safety net. There's a little bit of a secret, uh, a little bit with this Four of Pentacles because someone is like, I don't want um, kind of to divulge here the place that I'm holding, you know, kind of my treasure. Okay. This is because... It's coming as a past. That's why I said the Five of Wands is not necessarily bad. It's coming as playful because the Ace of Cups means that there was love or an opportunity or someone opened their heart here. It's initiation with the Ace of Cups. It's the beginning, but it's overpouring here kind of thing. All right, there you are with the Two of Wands. 
or you're asking here what do I need to do which way do I need to go because remember with the five of wands I don't know what kind of distraction is happening here or you're hoping that someone is clear with their intentions I keep getting these two of wands it has become very clear when it comes to relationship with the two of wands that someone needs to set intentions it's Mars in Aries all right so the king of cups is your immediate future now for some of you this might be the person that is coming in it can be the ace of cups the potential in the past here finally someone is ready to open up is carrying that cup fully grown kind of energy um, loving empathetic ready to open up um, this might be you you feel like what's going to come in where the four of pentacles is holding back again the king of cups feels like so uh, grateful to be able to open up here or to offer this cup so let's see a lot of uh cardinal signs here by the way as well sun in uh capricorn moon in taurus taurus i'm sorry moon in cancer um definitely like a full moon situation is happening what are you lingering though is it because the five of cups um kind of challenges you this remorse this regret because you still uh you or how you see yourself or when it comes to a person you're still not moving you're just kind of contemplating and staying in your feelings here the king of wands is external this might be how someone sees you what influences you externally or your blind spot i don't know for some of you if you are you are between two choices i need to clarify both kings to kind of understand what's going on but this is external the eight of wands i'm hoping that this is what you want with the eight of wands messages movement uh, I feel like rapid type of situation, passion, initiation. That's what's coming in. Oh my God. And the Ten of Wands, I feel like you're tired, you're done. You've been carrying this for some time. You're ready to release it. Remember the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Swords that I said, what is that you have been kind of overthinking here? But the Sun is your outcome. Not only we have the Wheel of Fortune here, and if you're asking where will I be happy or if you're afraid here because there's a little bit of an ego situation uh, or where you're going to shine, it can be a Leo for some of you. It doesn't have to. Again, as I mentioned, the King of Cups is your immediate future and what's coming in is happiness. But I feel like it seems this is truly um, someone that feels like this is my better choice. This is where... I want to be some type of enlightenment is coming in because i said there's the sun and the moon here uh, some type of epiphanies or again someone here that kind of you look at this person with joy when it comes to your love life i'm going to clarify and i'm going to pull uh, again the untold truth of the heart and the secrets of a lover's journey at the end here but this is a beautiful uh reading for you guys you're going to be happy Maybe because this King of Wands is um, coming in with that kind of attitude of confidence and happiness uh, and passion. But yeah, someone that is ready to open their heart, to kind of give you the world, to bring you happiness. Or you feel like whoever this person that is coming in and you're not sure uh, if it's the right person is telling you that you will be happy. But I feel like for most of you are aware because you've been carrying this for some time here. Let's see. Let's clarify and get a little bit deeper in the reading. All right. So what is this five of wands situation? Remember, this is coming because the sun is coming here as the outcome because of what you're dealing. So these fives are really 
um, necessary here, this crisis, these changes. Um, you see, it is about a uh, reunion. It's about reconciling here, finding ways to come together. The Three of Cups is where the Five of Cups uh, is kind of looking at what's gone, what's done. Maybe that's what you're struggling with, coming together. Some type of Mercury in Mercury when it comes to communication, which again, you're hoping for rapid, quick communication, or this is very optimistic. I'm going to... Uh, shoot my shot here and you know everything is going to go well and that's what's coming in you're confident or this person is confident here and not kind of dwelling to a situation of the past what is the five of cups yeah five 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 it's all part of that hierophant here and your expectations um I, I feel like in a way, I, you or whoever, this person that is coming in is like, look at it, I'm not sure what your intentions are or, you know, if there's going to be, again, a fear of hurt here, of rejection or another agenda. That's what kind of is what you need here to overcome. I feel like it's uh, afraid of being rejected or not the right timing here. What is the Four of Pentacles? One more. It's the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. I feel like someone is very careful to open the door here. Or feels like, again, I need to have this safety net or stability here. That's, that's what it is at the heart of this reading. What is this for a pentacles? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo is strong here. Yeah, I keep getting there's a fear of someone acting too quickly, like he's holding or he's planning here for a departure, but with intentions of something to be re reliable and consistent here, preparing for a long journey. Uh, what is the Ace of Cups, please? the justice i feel like someone was holding on to that love yes with intentions of the right timing here in the past there's always i feel like being that love or that potential but with the justice which comes for you guys as well and you have the two of wands you've been questioning i don't know if there's something contract karmic situation right or wrong or is it you know um the right moment and it feels like the King of Cups knows now that he's coming in. This is the right moment. How do you adjust? How do you make the best choice here? What is the Two of Wands? Judgment, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. So really, I said something about this being faded. Of course, it can be the union, the engagement, the building um, a life together. There's the opportunity. So I don't know if you're asking for a sign or you feel like this is it. This is the moment. This is right now what's going to happen. I cannot miss this chance. But that you're asking something from the divine or for some type of sign here with intentions. Look, we have the two of wands. We had the three of wands here. The ace of wands, the four of wands is kind of Aries energy, by the way that is going to lead to you and someone else here being together. All right, so what is the King of Cups that is coming in? Oh, sorry, way too many cards. Is that Nine of Swords or someone you have had on your mind a lot or someone that has been worrying constantly here? Um, what is this King of Cups? Okay. Very Piscean. I don't know if someone has strong Pisces, but this is wish fulfillment. Hidden treasure. You guys get also the Nine of Cups a lot. This is all you have ever wanted. Look at it. The Nine of Cups and the Sun. This is amazing for you guys. And it has the pentacles as well here, if someone has been worrying about these pentacles. 
All right, so what is here with the Four of Cups? Why is this the attitude? What is the Four of Cups? Okay, so it's the King of Cups and the Seven of Wands. I know that you're hoping here for this quickness. So it feels like someone here is kind of holding back. Like I need to defend something or this is my boundaries. This is where I need to stand strong. I feel like it has to do something with this King of Wands. I don't know if you feel like this is too good to be true or you feel like you have to protect something, to defend something here. Yeah, the, the Page of Pentacles. I don't know, you want something more reliable. What is this King of Wands? Okay, I feel like it's coming with way too many cards. I keep getting the Ten of Swords and I have reversed the Page of Pentacles here. So again, I feel like there's a fear of someone not being serious here. What is the Megat? What is this King of Wands? One card. What is the King of Wands? The Page of Swords and the Tower. I, I feel like there's going to be here some type of messages or revelations uh, that the King of Wands has been thinking. If, you know... With the Eight of Wands, it feels like, I said this to Capricorn, like a flash of lightning here. But it feels like some type of news that are needed here. Remember I, who had who was kind of holding back that I said here because he's afraid of that Ten of Swords? What's going to happen? That's kind of the energy um, externally here that you should be aware of. To me, it's like the news are going to be very important to kind of... Um, move you forward with you know whatever is this fear or situation about justice here or rejection what is this king of wands okay the fool yes yeah, someone is ready here to to kind of say something and take a a big risk but i feel like it's it's going to be for your best interest here What do you need to say? If you are the King of Wands is telling you, you've been contemplating, you've been thinking about this, it's time to kind of take a leap of faith or trust the process because the Five of Swords is not as trustful there. All right, so what is this Eight of Wands? What is the Eight of Wands? Okay, no shortcuts, not avoidance, not is like again with the seven of wands that you feel like you have to confront this head on so you're hoping that someone doesn't hide what is this all right so the six of cups it is about someone here going back to that uh, five of wands it is about a person that you have a lot of nostalgia you feel like you guys um click together here that was the potential so or someone avoided a situation because they were afraid or you're hoping now your message is going to go through or this person's message is going to come in uh what is the sun please what is the sun one more okay you are finding wow the king of swords which was with the ten of swords that that king down uh the sun is coming in with someone that has been reflecting and trying to find their way. A lot of kings. I'm like, I feel like emperor energy, by the way. But especially because I know that you're asking here, that's what's going to come in. Or this person is going to bring some type of um, enlightenment here. Wisdom. Or you finally are going to see what you've been uh, asking for, for some type of guidance. What is the sun here? Yep, this is moving forward. If someone has been very introverted or trying to hold back, now it's more open, more extroverted uh, type of situation here. That is the outcome. What is the Ten of Wands, please? What is the Ten of Wands? A give and take. Wow, uh, the pot of gold. By the way, again, in here is like someone that 
finally has found what they wished for. So you have been burdened because you feel like you had to wait or something needed to balance here, especially again. Uh, you have the Four of Pentacles who's holding very tightly. What's mine? With the justice, what needed here to be fairly shared. It feels like the Six of Pentacles is coming in. Uh, finally, that you're, you have the material and the emotional here. Remember with the Six of Cups. It's like, okay, it, it's not ready. I'm reaching. This is mine. This is my pot of gold. This is what I wanted. But first, certain things had to be divided or ba be balanced before you get what it is that you deserve or that is yours kind of a situation all right so i'm gonna ask here i hope it's it's a beautiful reading the outcome is beautiful this king of cups uh really uh i feel like is offering everything you ever wanted if this is you you understand what truly is important to you not just when it comes to the money but to the emotional or to finances or physical situations here all right so i'm gonna ask from the untold truth of the heart when it comes to Aries's love life what is important for Aries to hear what do they need to know what is something important that they need to know regarding their love life one more unspoken and nourishment here let's see all right someone that has gone through a lot of clouded situation illusions there's a lot of depth complexity and awareness and importance beauty feels like the empress energy someone here that might be finding you very beautiful charming here graceful or vice versa all right, so remember the I said about the Five of Cups here. What is something from the past, again, that I feel like the goodbyes, the final, finality here, the closure? Someone maybe walked away. Yeah, someone feels brokenhearted here. Like, it feels like I let something go. This person feels very intimate or, again, someone wants uh, to be um, exclusive here. All right, this is someone that fantasizes about you guys. So it, it, it is someone that regrets and wants something more. And the King of Cups is coming with that intimate kind of situation here. You're the only one. All right, let me see. When it comes to this journey, what do you need to know? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars when it comes to their love life. What's going on? Where are they in their journey? What do they need to understand? One more. Awakening eyes and nothing compares to you. Again, I feel like that's how that uh, King of Cups is coming in. Especially with the Five of Wands, if, as I mentioned, there's something here of competition or restriction or insecurities. The Rise of the Feminine. This is, again, that Empress energy. A sweet arrival. Romantic gestures, fairy tales coming true. All right, so a lot of dream talk. Meeting in the astral plane, lucid dreaming here. There's a little bit of an enigma. Again, for some of you, you might be not talking, but I feel like, again, the sun is going to bring something here forward. Okay, losing myself in you, sinking into fantasy identity crisis. So the fantasy is coming twice here, guys. A lot of, you know, you, you keep dreaming and you're kind of feeling like when this is going to come in. Softening your heart, exposing the bare soul, showing vulnerability. Okay, so there's some type of uncomfortable karma here, which can be with the justice. I don't know if someone, again, with the Five of Swords and the justice felt like there's some type of bad blood or guilty conscience or I need to make the right decision here. And that's where kind of um, it, it's happening here with the enigma, leaving it to the imagination, building a mystery. But it's getting to the point that, you know, I, I want something here to come forward. And he's telling you with the sun is going to come in a very positive, enlightened, happy way. 
I truly hope this resonates with you guys. For the ones that are interested in a personal reading, you can find the information in the description box below. See you next time. Bye-bye.